Today, I would like to talk to you about the napkin ring paradox that is going around the internet right now. I believe it's on Tested. Michael's Vsauce talked about it, and also Adam Savage on Tested talked about it as well. They are talking about it on a podcast earlier today, but I just want to go over what I feel is common sense, and it's kind of being over-explained and under-explained, and it's causing a lot of confusion. So this is the napkin ring paradox explained by a dumbass. So if you have a small, solid ball, and you need a one and a half inch cross section of that, when you connect these two lines, which would be what would happen when you drill or bore through this ball to get that one and a half inch cross section, if you can see here, this cross section looks like what you would think the cross section of a napkin ring would look like. So you're going to have this ring that has a concave outer edge and a flat inner edge. Now the problem arises when you get to a bigger ball and you want a one and a half inch cross section of that. The bigger ball now to connect these two dots, as you can see, it's almost a vertical line here. So when you get your cross section, it literally looks like this. It's a sliver. It's no longer a napkin ring. It's a ribbon, an actual ribbon of material that was left from boring straight through this. That's why this napkin ring of one and a half inch height from this size sphere is going to have the same amount of volume which means if you throw this napkin ring into water, it's gonna displace the same amount of water as this napkin ring because it has more material in a smaller ring. This has less material, but in a larger ring, but they equal. That is the true paradox. We're getting caught up in all of this nonsense. The real paradox is why is it that a sphere, three-dimensional circle, no matter how big you scale it, as long as these two measurements, 1.5 inch, 1.5 inch, are the same. It can be two inch, two inch. It can be one inch, one inch. No matter how big you scale these two up, as long as these two numbers are the same, the resulting ring will have the same volume. That is the paradox we need to be investigating. Thanks for watching. Like if you like, subscribe if you want. And as always, guys, keep thinking.